Reminiscing few years back when I started my career as a medical lab technologist, a sick yet cheerful young boy who was suspected to have dengue infection came to my lab for a blood test. His condition that evening worsening and he was transferred to the ICU just next door to my lab. Suddenly, at 2 a.m., I heard a loud, devastating scream from his mom, calling out his name. At that moment, I knew that we have lost the boy. Besides that, few other cases have crossed my path. I have lost a friend and recently a very dear student due to dengue. Never had I imagined that those experiences have brought me here today, working on my PhD research focusing on dengue antiviral. This is a golden opportunity or mission for me to help others from losing their loved ones due to the deadly infection. Dengue viruses are spread to people through the bite of an infected Aedes mosquito. Dengue viral infection can result in a variety of symptoms such as fever, rash and muscle joint pain. Some may not experience any symptoms at all, while in others it may lead to dengue fever or severe form of fever causing serious bleeding. At this juncture, dengue infection can be so unpredictable, snatching someone's life out of a sudden. This is where my PhD work would like to address an antiviral that can prevent the infected person from experiencing more severe condition by disrupting the virus progress. Now, let us dive in deeper to my mission possible strategies by referring to the infographic that I've prepared. My PhD focuses on finding potential antiviral, which our superhero here, that can inhibit dengue virus carried by our villain, the mosquito. Let's focus on dengue virus. Imagine we are peeling off a skin of a fruit, which is the virus membrane, exposing its flesh, the inner cell, and its seed, the genome and viral proteins. This is the particular part that we aim to tackle. Imagine if we disturb this chain of protein, the virus will not form. Now, to scrutinize the antiviral that can do the job, I combine the computer simulation and the laboratory method that confirm its potential activities in disrupting the virus formation. So far, three compounds have been evaluated through computer simulation, which displays promising outcome. We do not stop here. The superhero's competency were further validated by testing antiviral if they work on killing dengue virus on cells. Guess what? We don't just have a winner, but we have three potential dengue antiviral candidates that made our mission possible.